serious attention this year, ESPN announcing it'll broadcast live from the event. Every year during the last weekend of June, 7,000 plus teams descend on Spokane to face off on 456 courts spanning 42 city blocks in the largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament in the world. KXY4's Alex LaFries joins us now live. And Alex, this ESPN announcement is a big deal. It is, Nadine. It would appear as though the worldwide leader in sports finally realized what we in Spokane have known for years, that HoopFest is awesome. Now we'll be able to share the, vest the festival and the city that hosts it with the entire country. Until you see it, it's kind of hard to understand the, the size of it all. HoopFest Executive Director Matt Santangelo says they're still figuring out all the details, but anticipates ESPN will broadcast their weekend sports center live from downtown. There's so much awesome uh, stories, so much great content, so many great teams, so many great you know volunteers to be able to highlight during our weekend event uh, that you just you know you think that they'll just kind of mark it and be okay. That's part of the, the annual calendar. So far, the event is about 80 percent full which means there's still time to get in on the action. So almost all divisions have still have room, and so we'll still take teams here over the next couple weeks. They also need volunteers, 3,000 of them, from court monitors to those helping with sign-in. There's a lot of ways to be involved, but we're definitely going gonna to start to see more of a push around uh, trying to get those volunteers in to, like I said, I mean, without them, this event doesn't take place. More changes are also in the works for the Friday before the event, including Hop Fest, a small beer garden featuring local craft brews, and practice courts where teams can hone their skills before the big weekend, as well as on-site clinics and competitions. Instead of just running in and out of downtown, maybe hang out for a little bit um, and kind of enjoy the energy as it's building towards Hoop Fest. It should all add up to be the best Hoop Fest yet. ESPN's coming. If you're not going to play this year, I mean, you got to get in this year. And if you would like to volunteer or sign up for Hoop Fest, just head over to KXLY.com. We've put a link to their website. Reporting in the studio, Alex LaFreese, KXLY4 News.